Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh that brings seasonal pre-measured ingredients right to your doorstep so you can make a meal in about 30 minutes. Great way to get out of recipe ruts. They have so many recipes to choose from and it's super convenient. The food comes right to your doorstep in packaging that is almost entirely recycled or recyclable and it saves you so much time. Did you know that on average we spend 41 minutes at the grocery store. HelloFresh is super flexible. If you wanna change your delivery dates or make changes to your food preferences or even skip a week, HelloFresh makes it simple. And our favorite meal this week was the lemon spinach ricotta ravioli. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, head over to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 MMA to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm going to be cooking what I think might be the original McDonald's French fry recipe. I was inspired to make this recipe by an article I read in Atlas Obscura written by Luke Fatter and his quest to find the original recipe. Now what's so interesting about this recipe, which I had heard before, was that the original, original recipe, the fries were cooked in beef tallow. Beef tallow, of course, is beef fat. Now a little history about McDonald's. McDonald's was originally owned by the McDonald's brothers. Richard and Maurice McDonald had a burger stand dating from 1954 in San Bernardino, California, and they cooked their fries in beef tallow, which in the 1950s and prior to, which was very, very common and if you can imagine, very, very delicious. And several years later, Ray Kroc, who at the time was the milkshake machine salesperson, decided to buy McDonald's and the rest is sort of history. He made it into a franchise and now we have McDonald's everywhere. But Ray knew that the fries were the key to the success of McDonald's. People loved the fries. At the time, the potatoes were peeled and cooked fresh, and they were cooked in beef tallow. In order to reduce costs, McDonald's came up with something called Formula 47, which was based on the McDonald's meal price of 47 cents, but it was a combination of vegetable oil and beef tallow to fry the fries in. So fast forward to the 1990s, a fellow named Phil Sokoloff made it his ambition after having a heart attack at a very young age to combat fat and went on this huge campaign that was self-funded to obliterate saturated fats and fat. So in the 1990s, there was huge fads of non-fat this, non-fat that. And McDonald's, of course, was not excluded in that campaign. And in July 1990, they changed the formula in which they fried their fries. And now they are fried in a combination of soybean and canola oil. So the recipe that I'm going to be using also has a little mystique and mystery. It's called the McMenu and it is a 33 page document that has the recipe for all kinds of things from mcdonald's including the big mac the hamburger and the fries the author is anonymous but claims to be a former manager in the 1980s it also includes a mcrib recipe so 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 very fascinating to not only test out this recipe, but to also compare it to the fries of McDonald's today. And I'm also very curious about the homemade Big Mac and the hamburger as well. I have very fond memories of eating McDonald's hamburgers as a child. They were a treat and they were my favorite. And I am not surprised in the least when I was pregnant with my first child, I craved McDonald's hamburgers. I was living in Japan at the time and every Friday on my lunch break, I would ride my bicycle to McDonald's so I could have a McDonald's burger. So interesting how the mind and food connections work. At any rate, let's go ahead and make these fries. First thing you're gonna do is take two large russet potatoes and peel them. And next you're going to slice them. And the best tool to use for this to get nice even cuts is a mandolin. So mandolins are great tools, but they're super dangerous. Make sure to use the included guard. You wanna have fries that are a quarter inch by a quarter inch and about four to six inches long. Next, you're gonna make a sugary bath. This is gonna help get them nice and brown. So in a large bowl, add a quarter cup of sugar, two tablespoons of corn syrup, one and a half cups of hot water. 
Whisk this all together so all the sugar and the corn syrup dissolve, and then add your potatoes. Place this bowl in the refrigerator and let it cool for 30 minutes. Also on the side here, I've got six cups of Crisco shortening that I'm heating up to 375 degrees. Here are the drained potatoes. Since I'm not wearing my glasses, it's probably not a bad idea to uh, have some safety measures. Okay, safety first. This reaction's gonna be furious. Here we go. Ah. Right? Holy camoles. Make sure there's a lot of room in your pot. Jeez. Give these a nudge. After a minute, we're supposed to take the fries out. That was some reaction. I only have my pot filled to one third capacity. And when I added the fries, that went right to the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry these twice. This is just the first kind of oil blanch. Now we're gonna cool these off for 10 minutes in the refrigerator. So beef tallow, of course, is beef fat, and I rendered this from the roast that we have for Christmas dinner. Super easy, you cut up the bits of fat, you put it in a small saucepan, and put it on low, medium, low, and let it melt. Once it's all rendered and melted, I took a coffee filter and I filtered the fat and got this beautiful cup of tallow. So this is great for frying in, of course it's a saturated fat, but you just don't use as much, but full of beefy flavor. Now we're gonna add this to our oil. Safety first. So here we go. Oh, and they float right up. Much gentler fry this time. Nice. Wow, look how quickly they fry up. They're turning golden so fast. These take no time at all to fry. Put them into my bowl here. Take some regular table salt. Give those a toss. Alrighty, let's eat it while it's hot. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slightly sweet, nice and salty. Such a great potato flavor. Clean, distinctive potato flavor. A bit sweeter than what I recall McDonald's french fries tasting like, which da -da -da, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. This isn't exactly fair because these are not piping hot like these, but these are scrum diddly umptious. Here's the OG McDonald's fries. We see that the McDonald's is actually much thicker than mine. Mine is more like a shoestring potato, very thin. And McDonald's don't seem to be as golden as mine. Mine are much more golden in color. See that? These have been sitting around for a little while. So they've got kind of that spongy drier texture. It's not really a fair comparison because I just fried these and these are warm and crunchy and delicious. McDonald's fries are notorious for going stale very, very quickly. They should be only eaten when they're very hot and right out of the fryer, and then they're delicious. I don't taste the specific tallow flavor per se. Mm -mm. These are just more delicious. They have more complex flavor. They're both sweet and salty and potatoey. It should be noted that this is a very particular type of French fry. It's a shoestring potato style if you like big fat wedges of potato. This is not the french fry for you. So the next time I make these, I'm gonna look for a mandolin slicer that can cut potato slices a little bit fatter. These were a little bit too skinny for my taste, although they were delicious. I want a little bit more of a substantial bite. So there you have it. I tested what might be the original McDonald's french fry recipe. Absolutely delicious. I wish I could say with 100% certainty that this is the correct recipe, but since I wasn't alive to have them, then I'll just have to go with the fact that they are stinking delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh yourself, head over to hellofresh.com and use my code 10 made to receive 10 free meals, including shipping. Alrighty, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.
I'm walking on sunshine.